Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we will discuss example 4 under homogeneous equation for first order ODE. Solve the initial value problem 3x squared plus 9xy plus 5y squared dx minus 6x squared plus 4xy dy equals to 0. Given the initial condition y1 equals to 0. Right? From the given question here, we have x squared here. Okay, means degree 2. Okay, and then we have x to the power of 1 and y to the power of 1. So, when we add the exponent, so we have degree 2. And then we have y squared here, so we have degree 2. And then x squared means degree 2. And then x to the power of 1 and y to the power of 1. So, we have degree 2. Okay. Means we have same degree which is degree 2. Okay. So, this is a homogeneous equation with degree 2. Right. To solve homogeneous equation for first order ODE, first step, we need to write dy over dx as a subject and name as equation 1. Okay, from the given question here, we have 3x squared plus 9xy plus 5y squared dx. Then we move negative 6x squared plus 4xy dy to right hand side. So we get positive 6xy plus 4xy dy. Right? And then from here, we can move times dx here to right hand side. So we get over dx. Okay. And then we can move times 6x squared plus 4xy to left hand side. So we get over 6x squared plus 4xy. Okay. So after we move, so we get this. Okay dy over dx equals to 3x squared plus 9xy plus 5y squared over 6x squared plus 4xy. Right? Now, we success, right? dy over dx as a subject. So, we can name as equation 1. Right? Then, we continue with step 2. Substitute dy over dx equals to x dv over dx plus v and y equals to vx into equation 1. So, after we substitute dy over dx equals to x dv over dx plus v. So, we get this. Okay? dy over dx equals to x dv over dx plus v. Okay? And then... We replace y equals to vx. Okay, this is y. So, we replace by vx. And then, y here, we replace by vx. And y in the denominator here, we replace by vx. Right? Right, after that, we need to simplify. Okay, so... On the left hand side, we still have x dv over dx plus v equals to 3x squared plus 9v and then x times x equals to x squared and then plus 5v squared times x squared okay, over 6x, 6x squared plus 4v and then x times x equals to x squared, right? After that, we continue with step 3. Factorize and simplify x squared, right? So, from here, we have each term in numerator and denominator with x squared, right? So, we can factorize, okay? So, we still have x dv over dx plus v on the left hand side and then we factorize x squared so we get 
x squared in bracket 3 plus 9v plus 5v squared. And then over, we factorize x squared in denominator. So in bracket, we get 6 plus 4v. Right? After that, we simplify x squared here. Right? Before that, if we have a homogeneous equation with degree 2, we will succeed in factoring x squared. Right? If we have homogeneous equation with degree 3, we will succeed in factoring x cubed. If we have homogeneous equation with degree 1, we will succeed in factoring x to the power of 1. Right? So from here, after we factorize x squared, we can simplify x squared in numerator and x squared in denominator. Okay? So after we simplify, we get this. x dv over dx plus v equals to 3 plus 9, 9v plus 5v squared over 6 plus 4v. Right? Then we can solve the spreadable equation. Okay? To solve the spreadable equation, we continue with step 4. Spreading variables. V and X. Alright. To separate variables V and X. Okay. When we want to solve. We need to follow BOTMAS. Okay. BOTMAS is an acronym. And it stands for. Bracket. Order. Division. Multiplication. Addition. And subtraction. If we want to solve. A mathematical operation, we need to follow the order of what mass. Okay? But, if you want to separate, we need to reverse the order. Means, if we want to separate, we need to separate minus and plus first. Okay? Alright, so from here, we have plus sign here. So, we can move to right hand side. Okay? So, after we move to right hand side, we get x dv over dx on the left hand side and then equals to 3 plus 9v plus 5v squared over 6 plus 4v and then minus v. Okay, after we move plus v to right hand side, we get minus v. Okay. We still in step 4, spreading variables v and x. From the previous slide, we get this. Okay. And after that, we have x dv over dx equals to 3 plus 9v plus 5v squared minus v. We multiply by denominator here to standardize the denominator. So, we get minus v times 6 plus 4v and then... All of this over 6 plus 4v. Then we can expand this bracket. So we get x dv over dx equals to 3 plus 9v plus 5v squared minus 6v and then minus 4v squared over 6 plus 4v. Then we can simplify numerator on the right hand side. So, we get x dv over dx equals to 3. 9v minus 6v equals to positive 3v. 5v minus 4v squared equals to positive v squared over 6 plus 4v. From here, we only have multiplication and division operation. Okay. Right, so from here, we can separate variables V and U, V and X, okay? Alright, we can move this fraction to left-hand side, okay? When we move to left-hand side, we need to exchange the numerator and denominator, right? 
At the same time, we can move over the x to right hand side. Okay, so we get times the x. Okay, and we can move multiply by x here to right hand side. So we get 1 over x. Alright. Alright, at this point, we done separating variables v and x because on the left hand side, we only have variable v and dv. And on the right hand side, we only have variable x and dx. Right? And after that, we can continue with step 5. Integrating both sides. Okay? So, from here, to integrate both sides, we just put integration sign for both sides. Right? Let me look on the right hand side first. Okay? To integrate 1 over x dx, we get, we have direct formula. Okay, when we integrate 1 over x dx, the answer equals to ln x plus c. Right? But, to integrate 4v plus 6 over v squared plus 3v plus 3 dv, we need to use integration by u substitution. Right? Alright, when we use u substitution, we need to identify u. Okay? So, let's say we choose u equals to denominator v squared plus 3v plus 3. When we use u substitution, we need to differentiate. We have variable u and then variable v on the right hand side. So, when we differentiate, we get du over dv equals to 2v plus 3. And after that, we need to write dv as a subject. So, we just cross multiply. So, we get equals to du over 2v plus 3. Right? And after that, from integration of 4v plus 6 over v squared plus 3v plus 3dv, we can substitute u and dv into this integration. Okay? So, we substitute v squared plus 3v plus 3 equals to u. Okay? From this. Okay? And then, we substitute dv equals to du over 2v plus 3. Okay? From here. Okay? Alright. If we choose the correct u, we will successfully write all terms in u and du. Okay? So, from here, we can simplify. But before that, we need to factorize 2. So, we get in bracket 2v plus 3. So, that when we expand, we get back 4v plus 6. Okay? We factorize this because we want to simplify with, with this denominator. Alright? So, from here, we can simplify 2x plus 3 in numerator because we have multiplication operation here. Okay? We simplify with denominator 2v plus 3 here. Okay. After we simplify, we get this. Okay. Integration of 2u du. Then we can move out constant u from integration sign. So, we get 2 integration of 1 over u du. Right. From here, we can integrate. Okay, if we integrate 1 over x dx, the answer equals to ln x plus c. Okay, so when we integrate 1 over u du, the answer equals to ln u plus c. We still have constant 2 in front here. Okay, and after that, we need to replace u equals to v squared plus 3v plus 3. Okay, so the answer when we integrate... 4v plus 6 over v squared over plus 3v plus 3dv equals to 2 ln modulus v squared plus 3v plus 3 
plus C. Okay. So, from here, we can write the answer when we integrate. Okay. After we integrate, no more integration sign. Okay. So, after we integrate this, we get 2 ln v squared plus 3v plus 3 here. Okay. No need to put plus c because if we put plus c, we tend to simplify c on the left hand side and c on the right hand side. Okay. Alright. So, from here... We can continue with step 6. Okay. Replace V equals to Y over X. Okay. Because from the previous slide, we define V equals to Y over X. So, we need to replace back. Okay. So, the general solution is 2 ln Y over X. Squared and then plus 3 y over x plus 3 equals to ln x plus c. Okay. We replace v equals to y over x. Right. So this is the general solution. Right. From the previous slide, we get the general solution 2 ln y over x squared plus 3 y over x plus 3 in modulus equals to ln x plus c. Right? Since we are given the initial condition here, so after we integrate, we need to find the value of c. Okay? To find the value of c, we need to substitute the initial condition into this equation okay so from here x equals to 1 and y equals to 0 okay so from the general solution here we can name it as equation 2 because we already have equation 1 in the previous slide okay we put equation 2 here because it's easy to refer right so, from here, we continue with step 7. Applying the given initial condition okay, to find the values of C. Alright? So, we need to substitute the initial condition X equals to 1 and Y equals to 0 into equation 2 here. Alright? So, after we substitute, we get 2 ln 0 over 1 okay we replace y equals to 0 and x equals to 1 so 0 over 1 equals to 0 0 squared equals to 0 and then this is 0 over 1 0 times 3 equals to 0 so we get 0 plus 0 plus 3 which is equals to 3 okay and then equals to ln x we replace x equals to 1 so we get ln 1 plus c Right? Right, ln 1 equals to 0. So, we have C equals to 2 ln 3. Right? Or, we can use the properties of logarithm. We can move P here. Okay, we move up here. So, we get log from P log AM equals to log AM to the power of P. Okay, since ln is also logarithm, so we can use this formula. Okay, we move 2 here up to exponent here. So, we get C equals to ln 3 squared which is equals to ln 9. Okay, right after that, we can substitute the value of C into equation 2 here into the general solution. Okay. So, we get the particular solution is 2 ln modulus y over x squared plus 3 times y over x plus 3 equals to ln x plus we replace c equals to ln 9 
into equation 2 here, into C here. So, we get plus ln 9 here. Okay? So, this is the final answer. This is the particular solution. Right? Got it? Coming up next, more examples for homogeneous equations. If you like this video, you can subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.